In order to connect a motor, it's good to understand the data sheet that comes with the motor. And how to read a data sheet is pretty simple. You have the motor dimensions here, which will give you information on the frame size and the mounting holes. It'll also give you information on the depth and the shafts. You'll have various ways to connect the motor. One is unipolar, but you also have a parallel way of hooking up the motor and you have a series way. And this is all in the way you actually connect the wires to the driver. You'll also see in this location uh, the rated voltage, current, resistance, inductance, holding torque. And you'll notice that unipolar, the way it's connected, requires 6 volts for normal operation and draws 2 amps and will have a holding torque of 305 ounce inch. However, with bipolar you'll get actually more torque and um, the way we're going to be hooking it up with parallel it's going to be 4.17 volts and we'll draw 2.8 amps however we're going to be pushing the motor with much more than 4.17 volts and you'll also notice that in the series it requires more voltage so you would have to have a much larger power supply to to run it in series mode, so um, that's why we're going to be running in a parallel mode. It will require less voltage, but it will require more amps to be able to drive it. And this is also a consideration when selecting your power supply, is that if you're going to be setting it up in series, you probably want a much larger power supply, and the drivers would need to be able to accept much higher voltage. And you'd still be able to get away with lower um, current. Uh, however, the drivers would need to be able to still uh, take much more voltage. In the parallel, you're going to be able to increase the amount of voltage. You'll be able to run the motors at a higher speed. And then, in this section, shows you the schematics on how to wire the uh, different unipolar parallel and series. This is the standard configuration for the motor, and these are where the wires, um, the colors of the wires, and how they are connected with the coils in the motor. Bipolar series, you'll notice that the blue and red white, the ones in the middle, the uh, the wires that are connecting two different coils are actually wired together, they're connected together, and they're not put into the driver. In bipolar parallel, you're taking these middle uh, wires and you're actually connecting them to the outer coils. So you'll see that the two inner ones are connected to, say, the uh, the red-white is connected to the blue-white, the blue is connected to the red, the black-white is connected to green-white, and the green is connected to the black. And then when you get to that point, when you have, let's say, the red-white is connected to the blue-white, that particular wire or pair of wires go to the A+. Plus. Same thing with this one, those pair of wires go to the A-. minus. You have the black-white and green-white those pair go to the B plus, and the green and black, that pair goes to the, the B minus. And that's how we're going to be connecting this particular motor. You can see I have all of these colors associated with these specifications on the data sheet. So let's start connecting. We're just going to connect this just to get the motor turning and just to connect one driver, one motor, and make sure the system is working. So in the wiring configuration, it states that blue-white and red-white, which are these two wires, will go to A+. The next one will be blue to red, and that will go to A-. The next one to B plus will be black white and green white. And the final pair is black to green. Okay, now they're set up. Next we're going to configure the software. So we have pins 2 and 3 going to the x-axis and then we'll see if the motor turns. So in Mach 3 we're going to go to config, ports and pins, motor outputs, and our y and z axis are going to be disabled for now. Step pin will be 2 and the direction pin will be 3. Make sure to have step low active set and the step port should be 1 and the direction port should be 1. Press OK and press reset. 
Now I'm going to plug in the system and see if the motor turns when I jog the motor. You'll notice that you heard a thump. That's the motor engaging and providing torque. So when I press the left arrow key, it should run. Looks like it's running clockwise. And when I press the right arrow key, it's running in a different direction. So this motor is set up correctly. Now we need to set up the dip switches. The dip switches are located, or these small switches located in a line along this area here, and it's generally red. Before we do any changes of the dip switches, we need to unplug the system, so we are not making any changes to the state of the circuitry while we're on. As we can see on the case of the driver, the top part of the case will show you the micro steps and then you'll have the current rating on the other part of the case. The current rating is generally configured how much the motor will need to draw to stay at a particular torque. Stepping motors will make 200 steps per revolution and the micro steps provides a way to make that stepping much finer. Generally I recommend setting it for 1 16th micro stepping for the chain drive systems or the timing belt systems. For the lead screw systems I generally recommend it a quarter. The 16th will provide um, enough torque to be able to turn the, the motor while on a chain. When you get to the 132nds and the 164th the torque may be reduced so it's better to stay a little bit higher than the 164th or 132nds. So in this case um, to set the 116th micro stepping we need to set M1 at 1 M2 at 1 and M3 at 0. And according to the dip switches, it shows the arrow is down, so they're all set to 0. So what we need to do is move one up and then move the second one up, and the third one should be down. Since we have the wires connected in parallel mode, it's fine to set the driver at the maximum amps, which is 3.0, and that is 1, 1, 1, which is up, up, up. As shown here, we're starting with M5, M6, and M7. So take five, six, and seven, and bring them all up. And now you'll have the driver set at 1 16th micro-stepping and set the driver for 3.0 amps.